What's up guys, today we're going to be checking out this Joy-Torn wireless controller for the Nintendo Switch, checking out its features, design, build quality, everything it has to offer. Let's get into it. Alright, so first we're going to be starting off with the buttons and triggers, and first we have the ABXY buttons, which are pretty plain, just wide, and they're pretty clicky and high quality, I don't really have any issues with them, but they're pretty nice overall. Alright, so next up we have the sticks, which are pretty nice and colorful, and they have a little area for you to rest your fingers, however they're still not too grippy. As you can see here, my fingers can easily slide off of them, so they definitely aren't the best when it comes to grip, however they aren't too bad. When you click down on the sticks, they're pretty nice, they don't feel like they're gonna break or anything like that, they feel pretty solid. Alright, so the D-pad is next up, and as you can see here, they don't have too much click at all, they're pretty mushy, and you can easily press one side that you don't mean to press, which isn't a good thing, so the D-pad definitely isn't one of these controllers' strong points, but as long as you're not using games where the D-pad is very important, the controller should be good enough. Alright, so on the front of the controller, we have the plus, minus, screenshot, turbo, and home buttons. They're all pretty clicky, and they work as you would expect. When it comes to the turbo button in particular, all you have to do is press it down and hold it, and any button or trigger of your choice would work rapidly. So when it comes to the shoulder buttons, there isn't really anything wrong with them, they're clicky and they work as you would expect. There is a pretty wide gap between them and the left and right trigger buttons though, so maybe you like that, maybe you don't, I don't know. But when it comes to the left and right triggers, there's nothing really special about them, they're not too clicky but they work as you would expect and they're okay. During the 6 months that I've been using the controller, something broke with the left trigger which makes it a little bit less clicky, it still works though and it functions as you would expect. So just keep that in mind, the triggers do seem a little bit fragile. And you'll see what I'm talking about in the shake test for the controller. The only other thing on the top of the controller is the Type-C port, which is nice to see. Next up is the vibration test, and as you can see here, the vibration quality is pretty nice with a deep low rumble and a high quality overall feel. So as mentioned earlier, something broke inside of the controller, you can hear it in the shake test. The controller still does work though. The controller also has a gyroscope sensor which works pretty well as shown here. As you can see, I'm moving the controller around and there isn't too much input delay. When it comes to connecting the controller, like most controllers that are third party, you can't turn the switch on by turning the controller on, so what you have to do is turn the switch on first, then turn on the controller, and the connection will work. The controller's 500mAh battery should last you about 6 hours. In real world use, I don't know exactly how long it lasts, but it should last you long enough. I don't have any problems with input delay on this controller, so with a combination of the controller's low input delay, good build quality, and design, the controller has a pretty good gaming experience. Before we finish this video up, let's talk about the controller's build quality and ergonomics. So ergonomics wise, the controller is pretty nice feeling in the hand and has a nice rubber area at the bottom of the controller to rest your hands on, which is pretty nice. And durability wise, the controller is made out of pretty strong plastic that feels really nice in your hand. So the durability of the controller is definitely one of the best things about it and it really feels nice in your hand with good grip. This controller is a very popular controller on Amazon with multiple brands selling the controller. There are a lot of other Switch controllers on Amazon, and this is definitely one of the better ones. But I feel like there's a lot of newer controllers that are coming out now that are a little bit better than this. I would still recommend this controller though because of its good build quality, good design, great grip, and overall it has a good experience. So if you want to sell $20 Switch Pro controller, this is probably a good option. I'm going to make a video comparing some of the newest Switch controllers on Amazon, including this one. But that's been it. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.